go. And there's the first fish of the day. All these bass and everything are out here just chasing these shad. Small one, but it's a fish. I'm just using a small lipless crankbait, too. Oh, he's barely hooked. Definitely not the biggest fish. Okay, calm down. Nice little guy, right on the uh, on the uh, lupus crankbait, imitating the shad. Yeah, so little bass. All right, well, I'm not feeling this little lipless, so I'm gonna tie on a drop shot. All right, we got the drop shot tied on. I've been throwing the uh, drop shot a lot recently. It's kind of like I've been become like my new like confidence bait, kind of. Just been catching a lot of fish on it. Seems like whenever you just can't catch fish, drop shot's always the right thing to do. So I've been watching a lot of um, like the fishing YouTubers like John D, AP Bassin, Lunkers TV, you know, like Andrew Flair, you know, One Rod, One Reel, all those guys. And like watching their videos like every day, that's kind of like, neither like motivated me to like make YouTube videos or like make fishing videos because I mean making YouTube videos really isn't that hard. Like if you want to grow, you have to consistently upload and that's like really hard to do, especially if you don't have like a big following. Like if you like for me, like if I upload a video and I get like 30 views, it doesn't really motivate me really to make any videos. But if I spent like a whole month uploading every other day or something, I'd probably start getting more views, but that's hard to do. Like YouTube, you got to be really like persistent with it, I guess. So I don't know, I might I might try to make more videos, I don't know. But definitely, I definitely love watching all those guys' YouTube videos. I mean, they're really entertaining, really high quality videos. So, let's see if I can get something going over here. And by the way, I'm trying this new, like, instead of like the waterproof housing on the GoPro, it's like this, it's like the same thing, but it's not waterproof. And, um, the audio is a little better. So I'm trying to see if this works, like if I'm talking to it, see if the audio is good. So if it doesn't work out, this video is probably going to suck. And if I don't catch any fish, this video is probably going to suck. So I better get going. Alrighty guys, well no fish in these two ponds. Um, they're just not, I guess they're not by, I don't know. I mean, the, this area and that area are basically the it's the most pressured spot in all of the golf course probably i mean i mean I can't, I, there's a lot of fish down here it's just anyone who fishes down here like comes to these two spots so i'm gonna move to a small pond right over there i mean literally like 50 yards away so let's see if we can get on some fish over there all righty guys well, we made it to the another little pond right here I don't know if you can see, but we're literally just fishing right over there, so. Yeah, water water looks to be like a strange, like, bluish color. Too bad I forgot my chartreuse crankbaits. <laughs> Shout out to AP Bassin. <laughs> All 
All right, we made it to spot number three. I still, I still have only caught that one little bitty fish, so I don't know. I don't even know where this video is going. I mean, I mean, it's the middle of the day. It's really hot out. I mean, the fish don't really seem to be biting, so I don't know. I don't, even, I have no idea where this video is going or what it's going to turn out to be. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for the video. I just, I just realized that the outro I did like five seconds ago was um. Not pointing at my face, so it's probably really crappy. I, so yeah, I'm just gonna stop the video. This video is probably complete garbage. But hey, man, it's a video. I can look back on it a couple months from now and think and say that I remember that day. So that's been it, guys. Posaded, posaded. <laughs>